let's jump right in. This is the Lightspeed Trader software, and it's one of the standard pages and layouts that we have. You can go right to our layout page on the top main index bar. This is where you can view most of the menu settings, and you can see we have some predefined layouts. This is where you can easily jump right back to a reset of our layouts and, and start over. You can see we have different size layouts based on different monitor screen sizes, and then you can easily jump back and forth between different pages. Then everything else to build your own page would be through the main index bar as well, and also through the new menu. In the new menu, you can open up different windows and have many different functionality windows open at the same time, whether it's level two windows, quote windows, charts, watch lists, order entry forms, and such. So I just want to go over some of the different windows that we have for our basic layout, some of the settings that we have for them, and then we'll, we'll go into some simulation trades and orders and set up some, and go even go into some custom orders and configurations for hotkeys and hot buttons as well if we have some time. And certainly feel free to just jump in with some questions as well. So all the windows would start from linking to your level two window. You can see in my bottom left hand corner this is the level two window. I just have to change the symbol and you can see it changes the symbol in the level two and shows the various bids and offers from the different exchanges or market makers along with their share size and price. You could configure the level two window and the level one window to various display configurations and as all the other windows as well. Everything is based to our settings menu. You can either right click on any window to bring up a various list of settings or you can click on the gear in the upper right hand corner which brings you directly to the settings window for that particular window. So this is for the MM box, the market maker box here. You can see there's various tabs, quotes, design, layout, price levels. You can configure the level one layout or you can show the different shortcuts or different quote displays here, integrate direct quotes. So there's a lot of different ways you can configure your level two windows. If I right click again, I could go to my design and fonts and I could change the different fonts and colors here if I wanted. I could change how I want to display some of the desired data columns. I could show the column names. I can use different colors as well. So there's a lot that you could configure here very easily. Okay, now a lot of these windows all derive from linking from the level two. So you can see if I do change the symbol, all the other windows will update as well. I have a chart window that updates. I have my order entry window, which is linked, along with my option chain. So everything is linked through the level two quote window, and you're able to easily link them together and have different groupings as well. So I'll show you how to set up some different linkings as well. So we have our order entry window. You can easily change the amount of shares, the number, um, the different price configuration you want to set, the different order types we have available, limit, market, stop, different market on open and close, different strategy routes we have available, pegged orders, dark routes, smart routes, along with the different routing selections we offer. We do offer the direct market access through the different exchanges or market maker routes, so you do have the ability to select which route you are sending the order. Once you have your order parameters configured, you can then place your order. I have a confirmation which will display my order parameters, buying at the LSPT route, which is the Lightspeed Smart route, 300 shares for symbol QQQ. It shows my limit price of 124.27 and will also show my buying power requirement. Now you can remove your order confirmations for these orders to go directly in live for test purposes. It's good to show you what my order parameters are, but also when you are first getting started with Lightspeed, it's good to show your orders to confirm it to make sure that the order details are correct and you're placing the order you want to place. Once I hit yes, 
you can see a couple of different things happen right away. In my orders window here, you can see I have the order displayed. Immediately it did get executed, so we see quantity 300 out of 300. This also displays in my messages window. In your messages, you'll always get a different message on the status of the order, whether it's accepted, rejected, canceled, or not. So we can see an opening position, 300 shares at 124, 24 bought 300. So that's displayed. And once the order is executed, we can then see in my positions window here on the, the right side that I now have a 300 share position. My price is 124 spot 24. If this would change my profit and loss and my CB open P&L or mark P&L data columns would change as well. If I want to then place an order to close a position, if I wanted to adjust my limit price, I'll hit my sell for 300 shares at a higher price. We can now see this is an open pending order, quantity 0 out of 300. My limit price is 124.41, so that's above the market. And we can see in my messages window, selling 300 shares, so that's just an open order now. It's not executed, it's just a live order. I could right click on this order to cancel or modify. I could also increase or decrease the order size if I wanted to. Or I could easily cancel the order through the X on the right corner of the order as well. You can see once the order changes red, that indicates a canceled order. I also receive a cancel through my messages window as well. You are out of the order, so that is a dead order. So you can easily view your messages to determine the status of the orders in addition to the actual order window. If I do get a rejected order, that would display in my messages as well. So let's just say I mistakenly put in a market order after hours. I hit yes. Looks like the demo did uh, accept that. Let's try that again. Well, it looks like the demo. Of course, it's just simulation here. So it did accept these orders. Typically, if an order didn't qualify for the parameters you entered, you would get a rejection on a message in the messages window. So we can now see in my position is up to 900 shares. There's a lot of different ways you can close a position. I can right click uh, directly on my position. And there are some closeout selections here, closeout QQQ, 25%, 50%, 75%, 100%. So it gives me choices if I want to close out a portion of the position or 100% of the position. If I had multiple positions, I can close out a portion of some of them or all of them. Or I could also highlight certain positions to close out my selected orders as well. So there's a very easy way to close your order, your positions. Or I could simply use the order entry form as well, selling at uh, a price that I would like to have to close the position. I hit my sell 900 shares. That would easily go in there as well. And you can see that executed. My position turned gray since my position is now showing zero. I bought and sold at the same price, so there was no P&L change on there. But that would display uh, the transaction series. So I bought and sold at the same price and you can see how my orders display it, and then my positions display it. If you go into the settings menu, this is where you would show your confirmations and any other types of warnings that you could implement. So if I right click, I go into my settings in the trading menu. Under confirm new orders, that's where I would display my order summary. I could enable that or disable it. The same with cancellations, changes, closeouts or option orders as well. I can also implement various warnings. If I have a price that is too far away from the current market, I can get a warning. If I have a reach a max position size, I could have a warning. If I have an execution, I could play a sound. This is another warning as well. So there's various settings you can enable there. You can see cancels. You can have different orders canceled on different scenarios. One that's popular is a cancel pending order. 
when a position is closed. So if I have a limit order out there, but I decide I want to close a position, that will cancel my existing order as well. have a couple questions here. People are asking about different routing options. Now, we do not provide exact recommendations or guidance on which order routes to use. We do offer the Lightspeed Smart Route, which is the LSPT route, which does provide an algorithm to, to send the order to the best source of liquidity. Other than that, we display the different rates for the different routes that we offer, and you would decide which ones would fill best. A lot of people use the different routes depending on where the best source of liquidity is. If you see ARCA is your best bid, maybe that's where you want to sell your order to. If you see NASDAQ is your best offer, maybe that's where you want to buy, knowing that there's a better source of liquidity there. So you do have to use your own judgment in where you're sending the orders. They're all very fast routes. Even our market maker and strategy routes, they all have different price structure and configuration. So that's really up to the end user to decide what the best route would be. Lightspeed dark route would be something that would access the dark pool of liquidity. It's not exactly displayed before it gets sent to the live markets. There's different algorithm and strategy routes that we offer. You can see on the different drop down list of all the different routes, we have dark, we have night fan and other ones and they all have different aggressive or passive strategies. We do have documentation on this in our manuals and our website, so it is something you'd want to look into a little further to see if those routes would fit your strategy. Okay, to quickly go into the, the chart here, I can easily flip between different time frames. You see there's different tabs on the bottom of the chart. If I right click on the chart and go to chart parameters, I could then change the different time frames I have available. Let's say I wanted a 10 minute chart. I can select that if I want to then name it and add it. I could select if I wanted days or bars back, market hours or all hours. Hit OK and you can see I now have a new tab that would display the different time frames. So we see on the top of the chart here it's a 10 minute bar if I switch to my 60 minute we could see it's a one minute bar then I have my 52 my weekly bar or the daily bar so you can add all the different time frames to display all the same symbol in in different time frames if I right click and go to my studies this is where I can apply the various studies and indicators whether it's moving averages, simple or exponential. I can add that very easily. I select simple, I select my time frame 20, I click add, and you can see that immediately gets added here. If I want to add something else, I just would go back to my menu, select it, click add. If I want to change my parameters, I hit OK, and then you can see the study gets easily added. Very simple to add the different studies here as well. I'm also able to set up the chart to display certain trading aspects as well. If I right click, I go to the trading menu. I could show active orders. I could show executions or canceled orders or executed orders as well. So I'll just make this a little bigger for everyone to see here. If I want to place a limit order above the market, You can see in my red line here, that's my limit order. 300 shares, it's displayed red as a sell order, and, and the price is displayed here as well, 124.40. I could also click and drag this down to modify this order, and you get a confirmation here. So I'm replacing it at 124.40, sending it down to 124, hit yes, and you can see then that order executed. So you can manage your orders and positions from the chart which is a nice feature to have here as well. Yep, I'll show that one more time. 
Okay, so once again, I right click, I go to the trading menu, and I want to show my active, executed, or canceled, or executions. Click on any of the selections there. You can change what color you want to display, buy or sell, partial fill, and you can change the line as well, the width. I hit OK. So now if I want to place my buy order, I would set my limit price here. Once I see my confirmation, I hit OK. And we can see now my order is displayed here on the chart, my buy order at 124.10. If I want to raise it to something more aggressive, I just click and drag it up. I get my confirmation and hit yes and that would close the position. And we could see here now I had a little bit of profit and loss, negative $3, so you will display your closed P&L or your marked P&L, which is a combination of both open positions and closed positions. Okay, uh, if you guys have a couple questions, feel free to type them in right now. Okay, everyone, please keep in mind that you would not need to indicate an order to be self-short. The system would mark it correctly as a sell short, so I just simply need to hit the sell button and it will populate as a sell short order. And you can see it goes in right here, SSD, sold short, and I, my position is now negative 300 shares. So once again, you can see all the various studies that we do have available. You can just go through the different list, moving averages, Bollinger Bands, trend lines, pivot lines, MACDs, all that would be available there. So uh, if you don't see it on the list here, then you know it's something that we may be adding in the future, but would, would not be here at the moment. Okay, I also want to go into the, the hot button configuration. Uh, it's another great way to place orders, whether from your keyboard or your hot buttons, your hot keys, and customize orders. You can see here I have hot buttons. Our default would be market buy 100, market sell. So you can see even this is the order entry form is displayed as 300 shares. You would be able to bypass your order entry form and be able to place your order directly as the hot button indicates. So I have a market buy 100. You can see I click that order and then that immediately goes in as a 100 share order. Click yes and that would execute immediately and you can see right away. So my hot buttons bypass my order entry. They go in directly according to your parameters and you can place a lot of different orders that we have created as hot buttons and you can also create your own through custom orders. So if you see here we offer closeout orders. You can buy or sell at the market to close out. You can go to different routes for your closeouts, close out entire positions. You can close out 100% all your longs, all your shorts, 25% of your longs, 25% of your shorts. So if I have one, for example, close out short, OK, and add it, I just create a new hot button here, close out short. So for example, if I, I'm long 100 shares of STX, but I'm short 200 shares of QQQ, if I hit my close out short, you can see it's immediately sends an order to close out my short position only. So there's a lot of different ways where you can quickly manage your positions. If you need to close out multiple positions, you can set that up through hot buttons. 
there are different configurations for options as well. So I'll, I'll try to show some option orders as well in, in a second here. You can dictate how you want your def default closeouts to go. If I go to my trading menu and then there's a closeout tab, it will tell you, do you want to send it as a LSPT market order? Do I want to send it as a ARCA order, NYSE order, a bidder offer, or market order? So you can dictate where you'd want and how you want your closeouts to go. Most people do want to close out immediately as a market order, but you do have the option as a bidder offer selection. So if I wanted to create my own order, I can do that in my custom order tab. I would go and select a new custom order. So I'm going to create a new command. Let's see, I'm going to select my market. I'm going to select if I want a bid or ask or a through amount. So I can do five cents above the bid, five cents below the bid, five cents above the offer or not. Or I can select it as a market order. So let's say a market order, 500 shares. I could name it as well by 500 MKT. Done. OK. Now if I go here to my hot buttons window, my new order that I just created by 500 MKT, I add it. I hit OK. I now have a new button. So once again, this shows 300 shares. I go to my buy 500 order. That's exactly what goes in. It bypasses my order entry, goes immediately to my buy 500 order. So it's a very easy way to set up different hotkeys and hot buttons. Every order that you see here can also be used as a keyboard hotkey. So if I just go to my keyboard tab, I can select any of these orders, my closeout orders, my custom commands. So once again, if I take my buy 500 order, I go to shift one, I'm going to select map. This is going to be my new hotkey, shift one. So once again, this is on 100 shares. My mouse is right here, but I hit shift one. That's what's going to pop up by 500 STX. So you can set up hot keys or hot buttons for any of these customized orders or both. Whatever's going to work the best for you. It's your preference. So I have another layout I'll quickly show you. So if you have other layouts, you can go to your load layout selection and I'll find my new demo layout and you can see I automatically have a new layout selected and you can see the various hotkeys that I do have. You can have cancels, cancel all your buys, cancel your sells, your closeout orders, closeout half, closeout long all, closeout shorts. I have my buy market tiers, I have my stop orders, my bid or offers. And then you can see here, pops up here, my buy or sell, but I also have my bid tier. There's another function known as a pop-up order. It pops up a separate box and I could then adjust my order size, my price, or the route all through the keyboard functionality. So that's another nice key are the pop-up orders. So any of these orders that I have here would pop up so I could then adjust or wait for that order to come into play and then place it. So it's a kind of a combination of both your hotkey and your keyboard at the same time. Then you can see I have different buttons labeled here. You can link to outside websites. So if I wanted to find some information on STX, I click on my Google News. It instantly links with this symbol and I could look at my top stories and the news. So that's something that's 
able to do and you can always call or, or email us if you if you want a little help with that also we have it set to Twitter another one so we can see if there's any trending uh, Twitter topics or news stories as well which is a really nice function as well I can set different keyboard or, or keys as well. I have one to add alerts. So I go to my alert button here. I could change if something changes here. I click go and then my alert pops up here in the corner. My price alert was met 39.25. That's a good question. Someone asked about how your hot buttons would relate to multiple level two windows. So I'll show you exactly that. If I go to my second level two window, I have, so now I have two here. You can see I have SPY and STX. Now what window would be associated with my hot button? It's going to be with your most active window. So you can see this one is the highlighted window with the yellow border. If I select here, you can see this one changes to the yellow border. If I go back to SPY and I hit my buy market, it's going to go in for the SPY order. If I select the STX button uh, window, then it's going to go to the STX. So it's going to enable based off of your active window. But you can link various windows or charts or any other window to certain level two windows. So all I would need to do would be to right click on any window banner go to my link selection and it gives me the choice to select to link to a specific level two window. So if I only wanted this one to go to SPY, that's all it would be linked to. So even though this is the active box, if I click on my buy marketeer button, I know it's gonna go to the, the window that I linked. There we go. I just need to click off of it. So you can either link it to multiple level twos or it could be linked to that active box. You can see it brings it back to the active. So even though I had to click on STX, I click that back and it's going to always default to SPY. And then here, if I go back to STX and I have a order there, that will go to my STX. So now if I open up a new window, a new chart, with the same selection, right click, I go to link, I can select which box I want to have it linked to as well. So this will be to my SPY, I go to my other chart, this will be linked to my STX. So if I change the symbol, you can see my lower chart changes. If I change the symbol up top, my upper chart will change. So it's really in and out of focus with your quote window or linking to focus. You can save your different layouts to your different settings and different layouts to each other so they're it will save your hot button configurations on different layouts, so that is possible as well. So another feature that we added here would be the tip ranks feature. So you can see in the upper right hand corner, we now have our tip ranks data. And this now gives us analyst rankings. Let me just bring it to the middle here gives us our insider transactions, our insider confidence, our different analyst ratings. So you can you can click on the different analysts and see their their ratings here. So we have buy or sell or hold ratings and then you can view that as well. This is also linked through our website so you can view some of this data. 
You can go to the tip ranks highest rated stocks as well. You can see here Apple buy, hold, sell, displaying stocks rated three or more. And we can filter this a little bit as well to view on the different ratings. So this is a good way to get new information. It's a good way that we provided some financial analyst information and, and gives you an idea of what analysts or insiders are, are doing here as, as well. An, another window that you should know about would be the watch list window. This is where you can create your own stocks. So I simply would have to type in new symbols and that adds to my watch list. There's a lot of different data columns you can view here. If I go to my settings and go to my columns, all the available data columns here I can enable for my watch list. If I want it to be highs or lows, volume change, just have to click on that data selection. If I want to know if the stock is easy to borrow or not, if I want to know the daily high or low, And then there are all different data columns in my dropdown here. So change would give me everything here, percentage change, dollar change, percentage change from the high or low or open or close. So if I want my percentage change from the open, I click it, I hit add. If I want to see other information with p and I can do so. Oops. My mark p l here as well, intraday. So all this can be added as separate data columns to your watch list. Same thing with your positions window. You can add different data columns to your positions as well. You can add the VWAP indicator on the watch list as well so that is available you have an idea of where that is and we do also have some other scans that we provide so you can see here I have the risers and fallers list you can see we have this sorted by the percentage change or the dollar change you can configure that sort by percentage or not, it shows you your risers, your fallers, and your most active. If I want to check on a stock that I see is moving a lot today, FedEx up $6. You can see why. I could go to my analyst ratings. So I could link all my windows together. I could view the chart here, see how past activity is happening, and very easily make a decision if I'm looking to buy or sell this particular security. We do also offer a new light scan feature. This is a good overall market scan that we provide. You can sort it by volume on the day, but you can add any of these different columns and sort by highs or lows, breaking, high or low, percentage, volume, gap, open, up or down. So if you don't have this enabled, you can just contact us to enable this for you. But it's a very good data scan that we, we provide that was kind of a new indication here. So if you want to see buy and balance, percentage and balance, you can sort by all these different data columns, percentage gap. If that's my main column, I can see what gaps the most, what's gapping up, and then check out based on the different thing. This is the light scan window. It's not a default selection, but it is something we can enable for you. So. I uh, certainly could email us if you want to have that. There now, otherwise, if you want to view other scans, you would just do it in uh, your alerts. You wouldn't do the alert. You do the alert from your level two windows. Now, remember, you guys certainly could 
email us if you're looking to test out the Lightspeed software for the first time. You can request a demo right from our website as well. Okay, so I want to go back to some of the option functionality here as well quickly. So I'm just going to switch back to a layout here. So I have the option chain here in the middle. I can change my near date or all dates or specific dates here. So I could choose my date of expiration or I could select all dates. I could increase the amount of strike prices I see for each series. I could base my money strike off of a specific price or I could see all prices or just near money prices. So we could see the expiration displays in the middle. The strike is here as well. And then we have the calls on the left, puts on the right, our bid ask and volume. I can also add different data columns here as well. If I want to add different Greek data, I can do that. If I want to see any percentage change, all the data columns you can add and configure. So that's all available. Now if I want to populate my option level 2 window, I simply have to click on the contract. That will, popula that will populate my option level 2 window. We can see my order ticket below. I have to select my price, my market, and my order type. If I have a limit order, queue it up by 1 at the smart route, 445. And we can see that order executed here in my simulation. And we can now see in my positions window, I now have the option contract. If I go into my default settings here, I can show my Greeks, I can show my positions, I can show my order ticket. I have hot buttons available, so I have order entry settings for defaults. So if I want to default it to five, if I want to default my route, my order type to market, I want to default my order price, or I cannot. I could set it to none. Buy button on the right or left. So I hit OK. If I change symbols, you can see my quantity now defaulted to five. My price is now a market order. Some other functionality you can do. If I go into my hot buttons, you can create various hot buttons for cancels. So I could cancel all my buys or my sells, cancel anything for that underlier as well. So we can we can place buttons here as for cancels. Also have commands. I can add different commands here so I can default if I want to buy at the bid here. I can either send to order ticket or send to market. I'm going to say buy five. I click add. Then I would just go to my hot buttons. We have the one I just created, the buy five. I click add, OK. So let's just say, for example, this is set to one. I have my buy five that's what's going to populate. So you can set custom orders for your options, just like you can for your equities. So I defaulted this one particular button to buy five contracts at the bid. You can see the bid is 310 by 325. This order goes in at 310. Now, there's another order that you have would be for spreads, you would need a different window. This is the complex options order entry. So what you'd want to do is you can highlight two contracts. I could right click to add the strategy as a debit or credit spread. I could then flip that easily if I want to flip it back. So it tells you one you're buying, one you're selling. It tells you if you're bid or paying or receiving and what price you're entering your limit order in. There's also a setting here. If I want to double click to add the position to my chain here as well. So I simply have to 
either double click the contract it will add the different legs in there now if I click on the bid it will go in as a sell order if I click on the ask it'll go in as a buy so you can see that strategy goes directly in populates right away simply have to hit the go button I get my credit five buy one sell five buy one sell one and it tells me my buying power requirement as well so it's very easy to place those spread orders or even multiple legs you can do up to four legs on this one window just have to populate your buy and sell you get a confirmation on your entire order here If the order goes in you could see each leg will be under the the main order indication here I know I'm going a little bit fast if anyone is looking for a personal demonstration we certainly can do that you just have to give us a call or email service at lightspeed.com or sales at lightspeed.com if you're looking for a new account I'll be happy to go over any of the functionality for you Okay, uh, do we have some questions on, on some of the functionality here and the hot keys, the hot buttons? I mean, the Lightspeed Trader is really known for the customizable order entry, the speed of order entry, and the ability to really uh, increase your efficiency through these customized layouts. This webinar will be available on the website uh, within a couple of days. So uh, look for that and definitely sign up for some of our upcoming ones as well. Every window can be moved and resized. So you can just drag each individual window to different monitors. So you really can have multiple monitors, three, four, five monitors very easily. Just have to size and move your each individual window. Of course, the entire program moves if you click on your main index bar but you can just move each individual window. So we see I have this 600 STX. Let's say I have a nice profit on there. I want to close out. I'm going to my close out STX. Let's say I only want to do half of it. Hit OK. You can see right away I have my position closed halfway, 300 shares remaining. My CB close PL is 164, my open PL is 135, and then my marked is the combination of both my open and closed. You could summarize your PL here as well. You can display it on your top index bar here, my marked and my closed PL as well. You can see it shows your positions and pending orders, along with your buying power, remaining buying power, how many shares, and this is customizable as well for the different data columns you wish to put on your main index bar. The light scan isn't really going to allow you to filter based on different parameters. It's really just going to give you data columns that you could sort and filter by. So whatever, it's not really customizable at this point, but we are looking to add that functionality. Well, uh, Chris asked the question if I could dedicate one monitor to one page and one monitor to another. It would only open up as one page layout, but it would just be up to you to move all the windows of your preference to one monitor. And you just would save it, and then that monitor would save in that fashion, and then the main monitor would save in that fashion as well. So you can see here on my level two window, we also do provide an indication if the symbol is easy to borrow and a live account, this would e this L would either be an E for easy to borrow, an L if a low case required, which you can email us for a stock short or a T, which would be a threshold, which would not be available for the day. Next to it is the margin requirement. 25% would be the standard intraday margin requirement. Certain ETFs would have higher margin requirements. Certain 
stocks may even have 100%. So you'll see that indicated on your level two window right there. Once again, to attach different charts or windows to your quote window, you simply have to right click on the top border of any window. It's then going to ask you to select which quote window you want to have. So if I have more than one level two window, I can decide on my chart which level two window I want to link it to, or not at all. It could be a standalone unlinked chart, or I could link it to my FDX, or link it to my SPOI window. So only when I change this window will that chart change. If I have my bottom window, my chart will not change. The program does link to trade ideas, so you can link for some data configurations. Uh, you would have to enter the orders manually. The, the automated linking does have a different cost structure than it used to, but you can link to trade ideas. It's not something that I have set up at this time, but certainly Bob, if you want to call in, we can walk you through that, or trade ideas would be very good at helping you link to the trade ideas program as well. Sorry, I just don't have trade ideas linked to this computer. We do have a video of just some hot buttons and advanced configurations. I know I went through it pretty quickly. So no, uh, Chris asked if we had a, a separate video for that. So we do on our webinar program. And then if you do want to call in for a private tutorial, we're always willing to do a walkthrough, show you how to set up some certain orders and, and really go. The light scan feature is going to give you a full market scan of the, the various data columns that you have. So if you want to sort by a net change, a net change percentage, it will short, sort the entire market for anything that fits into the parameters. So if I want to sort by my net change, if I want to change the columns, I want to see what is a percentage gap higher on the day, I can sort by that and, and go to my percentage. So it's really a way to scan the market. If I want to scan by different volume, by different percent change or higher lows or breakouts, you would use your light scan filter to just scan the market in different ways. A phantom or hidden position you could see in here. It's really, I, I actually don't think it's it's available any longer. It, it was just kind of a way to, to put on some simulated positions. Maybe it is here, phantom shares. It's, it's not really um, something I'm not familiar with, so you, you may have to call in. The chart itself would not display the additional data columns. You would have to use your watch list or other scans to view different percent change or different high-low amounts. So you can uh, you do have certain filters available on the light scan. You can exclude price range, so you can do certain ones. I'm sorry, I was a little off on that. So you can display exclude volume, exclude certain last price between or net change, so you can filter that a little bit more. 
You can change certain markets. You can change from time of day how long you want that data to display here. So some of that is available. You have your additional news source here in the new menu. This will give you your streaming headlines. If you want different windows linked, you can go into your um, let's see. Um, Chris, you probably would have to give us a call. I, I don't remember offhand how to link on those additional news links here. On the closeout orders, you would create your own custom orders if you want to really put on different parameters. So I can have a closeout, full position, half position, quarter position. I could choose where I want to send it. And then I could close it out at the bid or ask plus five cents. So I could buy or sell, sell at the bid, close out, quarter my position, half my position. So you're going to make any of your custom orders with different through amount levels. The defaults will only go bid or offer or market. Otherwise, you have the ability to do your custom orders here. Hey guys, I hope I answered a lot of your questions. There's a lot of other settings, a lot. I don't even know. The, the program is very complex, but it also can be very simple. So, you know, you always have to just keep practicing and configuring and really testing it out to see what works best for you. There's no right or wrong way to use it. It's just what's going to make you most efficient. So I, I thank everyone for attending. Please know this is going to be on a on the website within the next couple of days and always keep an eye out for future webinars as well. So everyone feel free if you have more questions, you could email service or sales at lightspeed.com and I'd be happy to help you with setting up a new account or any of the current account holders. Definitely if you need further help, we'd be happy to help you as well. Thank you very much everyone. Have a great night and hope to hear from you all. Thank you.